Shalom family. So in today's video, we're going to break down the different organs and systems of the body and we're going to explore some of their different functions. And so understanding how these systems work is going to be crucial to anyone's practice as an herbal practitioner. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. You guys know me, you know, I like to give definitions. So first, what is an actual organ? So organs are a collection of different tissues. They come together in harmony and they perform one or more functions. So in the body, organs can actually form systems, as I refer to organ systems. And these systems work together to maintain our body's balance and also make sure that we are functioning properly. So first up is our nervous system. This is the body's control center. The term nervous relates to the nerves, and it includes the brain, the spinal cord, and the nerves throughout the body. All right, so the nervous system allows us to perceive and to respond to our environment. It coordinates our body movements. It facilitates communication between the different body parts as well. And common disorders are going to be some of our neurodegenerative disorders like Parkinson's, dementia, or Alzheimer's, and pretty much any conditions that's going to affect the brain, like ADHD, seizures, etc. Next, we have our cardiovascular system, and this is comprised of the heart, the blood vessels, and the blood. So cardio relates to the heart, and vascular relates to our veins. So the primary function is going to be to transport oxygen and nutrients, hormones, and even waste products throughout the body. The cardiovascular system also has a vital role, of course, in regulating the body's temperature and maintaining fluid balance. So common disorders of the cardiovascular system are going to be anything that has to do with blood or blood circulation, such as a heart attack or a stroke. All right, uh, let's move along to our musculoskeletal system. So it has the word musculo for the muscles and skeletal for the skeleton or our bones, right? This system is comprised of bones, muscles, tendons, and our ligaments. And this system provides the structural support to the body. It protects the vital organs and it enables us to be able to move. So this system also produces blood cells within our bone marrow and it stores minerals like calcium and phosphorus. Some of the common disorders are arthritis, where you know one has pain in the joints, osteoporosis, which is osteoporosis, which is deterioration of the bones. Those are just two examples. Next, we have our digestive system, responsible for breaking down our food, absorbing those nutrients, and then eliminating them through waste. This is going to include the mouth, where the food comes, the esophagus, the stomach, small intestines, large intestines, liver, gallbladder pancreas. So all of these organs make sure that the body has or does three main functions. And that's going to be, of course, with our actual digestion, but also with the absorption of different minerals, vitamins, and everything that the body needs. And also ensuring that our bodies receive the necessary nutrients. So transporting them, we need them for energy, growth, etc. Common disorders, constipation, bloating, stomach cramps, etc. All right. Next system, we're going to talk about the endocrine system. So the endocrine system consists of various glands that actually secrete hormones. So glands are organs that secrete hormones. And so the various glands that are in our endocrine system include the pituitary gland, the thyroid gland, adrenal glands, the pancreas, and also our reproductive organs. This system also helps to regulate our growth metabolism, reproduction, and a lot of our other bodily, bodily functions. So common disorders include hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism or even PCOS. Next, we have our lymphatic system, which has a critical role in maintaining the body's immune function and also our fluid balance. It includes the lymph nodes, the lymphatic vessels that we have, the spleen, the thymus gland, and our tonsils. So the lymphatic system filters and helps to transport lymph, which is a fluid that contains white blood cells throughout the body. So it helps to fight off infections and also helps to remove waste products. So common disorders are going to be swollen lymph nodes, um, lymphedema or lymphoma as well. Next, we have our respiratory system. 
Now this system is responsible for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. This is gonna include the nose, the throat, the trachea, the bronchi, and the lungs. The primary function, of course, is to provide oxygen to the body cells, but also to remove carbon dioxide as waste. It regulates our acid base balance and supports the production of sound for speech. So common disorders are gonna be flu, bronchitis, and pneumonia. And then lastly, because I gave you guys seven, we have our immune system, and this is our body's defense mechanism, and it protects us against harmful pathogens, foreign substances, etc. And this system includes various cells, tissues, and different organs, such as the bone marrow, the thymus, the lymph nodes, and the spleen. So our immune system's functions include actually recognizing, seeking out, and then neutralizing those harmful agents. Um, it also promotes healing and helps to maintain an overall health and vitality. So common disorders are immune issues like lupus or HIV AIDS. All right, so there you guys have it. I just broke down seven of our major organ systems of the body. Of course, there are others. This is not exhaustive, but I wanted to let you know that each system has its unique role. And so to keep us healthy, we have to make sure that we understand and can see when we have imbalances. So therefore, by taking all of this information about the body, learning all the information about the herbs, we can come together so that we can actually get back into balance. So if you guys thought this breakdown was helpful, let me know if you have any questions down below. Let me know if you have any comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.